Hi everyone. We are right now in our balcony and terrace type of greenhouse to test the roses. So that's the roses from the, for the future. But I wanted to talk to you about a few historical variety that may on bread and that you can find on the market. The number one variety that I want to talk to you about is that beautiful landscape rose that set the mood for landscape 40 years ago called Bonica. Bonica is an incredible uh, variety that blooms with a lot of little flowers, pinkish, wonderful, really easy to use, one cut back a year, no pesticide, no, fe no fungicide required, and it's a really easy, disease-free variety. Then you have Frédéric Mistral. Frédéric Mistral is that fantastic hybrid tea with a great fragrance. The fragrance is really complex. It was named after a French poet from the Provence. Uh, is a poet that said a lot of things that was beautiful and we thought dedicating a rose to him was not the thing to do because we are from Provence too. Also, we wanted to bring back the memory of the ivory tea. So that ivory tea is really perfection. You're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be hard for balcony to, to put it, but still, you can enjoy it a lot. And then the third variety that I wanted to talk to you about is that fantastic variety that's called L. L is incredible. L is a double ARS. L is the mother of so many varieties that are incredible and passing through the fragrance. That fragrance is unique in roses. The color tone of the flower, the disease resistance of that flower is the first hybrid tea to be really, really crazy. After you got Francis Mayon, after you got uh, Lynn Renault, but basically this rose was the mother of all the hybrid tea that was disease resistant. So please enjoy it. I hope you will find them and enjoy it in your balcony. Another variety that is really important, oh my God, is Lolita Lempica. Lolita Lempica is a French designer and fragrance. You can find the fragrance on the market. And for sure, to name a rose for her, wow, we had to add something with an incredible fragrance, a huge flower. The color is so interesting because it's neither red or pink. It's that, that special color of those clothes that you wear during those big party at night. And the fragrance is so attractive, so complex. It's just a huge flower. So this one, you need a lot of space to grow it because it's a tall variety. But I think on the balcony, you can harvest a couple of flowers and make your own bouquet with it. The best way to put it is in a garden. You put five to 10 plants and then you harvest the flower and you make beautiful bouquet with it. Another variety that is really specific is Caprice de Meillon. I know the name Caprice means uh, something that uh, is a problematic, but that Caprice means that us, Meillon, we wanted to give you something incredibly fragrant and with a really specific color. Those are real hybrid teas, traditional look, really high pointed head, fantastic fragrance. So those varieties are really important for the history of rose. With it, you can breed new roses. You will bring some new blood to your breeding line. And in your garden, you will harvest tons of flowers and enjoy the fantastic fragrance. So I hope you all enjoy those roses that you will find soon on your market. And please keep cultivating your roses because it cultivates the peace.